So today we're going to spend just a few minutes talking about data, data as an asset to your organization or mission. And we're going to really address three primary areas here. We're going to address data as an asset, the effectiveness of data, and how data impacts your budget and bottom line. So stay tuned. This is going to be a very informative discussion around these three critical mission slash business needs. So stay tuned. The effectiveness of an organization is dependent upon the applications that they're using. Now, some organization or missions may vary, although I would be, I would struggle to find an organization or unit that does not use some form of software applications to do and execute their mission. So applications pay, play a very important role in how we understand the usage of the applications as well as how we leverage storage within our environment. Now storage and applications do not necessarily have to be local, they can be cloud-based as well, but how we interact with them on a daily basis drives cost and efficiencies within the organization. For example, an application, we may be using it ineffectively. We may not be leveraging the proper process or automation associated with that application, which unavoidably drives up our bottom line cost because now we need other technology in order to fill some of those gaps that might be easily solved with the proper application and process within the unit or organization. And that all impacts storage, the duplicity, the duplicity of data, of how applications interact with that data, as well as how we can leverage data from other sources, saving us time to input that data ourselves. Lots of great things that happen inside of our organization, and it starts with the application and how we leverage that storage. Now that we understand the importance of our knowledge related to our applications that we're using as well as how that impacts storage and ultimately how this drives cost, let's begin to explore how data becomes an asset to the mission. So data as an asset is a cultural change within organizations and it has to occur the reality is that data is the future our strength as a military organization or as a business anywhere in the globe is dependent on our ability to truly leverage data and there are three sub categories within this field one we need to improve the data so that it becomes cross domain. And what I mean by that is we need to be able to see what our data looks like, clean it up in most cases, but then be able to reach deeper into the organization and see how our data can be enhanced by the data collected by others. We see this in spades when we look at tools and technologies like generative AI, i.e., chat gpt gemini um, copilot all of those type of tools those are just kind of scratching the initial itch right this is our ability to understand what we have and how other people's data can make our lives a lot easier the second bullet here is really understanding the resiliency of our data. This is not just from a cyber perspective and a privacy perspective, although very important. I'm really talking about data loss and process improvement related to how we deal with data today in our environments. It's too common to find critical mission data sitting in a spreadsheet on somebody's desktop that desktop is lost and now all that data is lost when the solution is so simple to simply move that that spreadsheet data into a list of some sort on a enterprise level platform like office 365 or google workspace 
Mission success is clearly defined when we know where the data is and when we need access to that data. And we're talking about now the strategy and the cost associated with, does that data need to reside locally on a cloud? Does it need to be offline capable with a synchronization? All of those key critical components when we're truly trying to change the culture and, and make our data an asset inside of an organization. Understanding our applications and their associated data has a direct impact on mission effectiveness. How effective we are as an organization to execute any task within the environment is dependent upon our understanding, not just an inventory of our applications, but an understanding of the value, the process, the visualization, the data source, and the networks associated with all of our applications. So let's jump right to how can we build mission effectiveness now that we understand what our applications and the associated details are within our environment. Well, the first item really comes from the labor that is diverted from your mission effectiveness to complete tasks that consume resources due to the lack of understanding of what it is that your software and your data are doing for you. Remember, data and applications, computers in general, are here to make our lives easier easier not to just be a pain in our neck and something that we have to do automation is available for so many tasks and in my uh, working with people i always find that organizations spend a lot of time doing manual processes that could easily be automated reducing labor um, to do those manual tasks just adds labor to the other tasks that are important to your mission. So this level of effectiveness of understanding what the value of the application is and the process associated with the application will drive the ability to provide automation and process impo improvement uh, within the environment. Mission continuity is critical for any organization. That means that when we have a group of individuals working on a specific area of our business or our mission, and then they are transferred, get another job, whatever the situation, they no longer are working in that part of your organization, how do you keep business continuity, mission continuity across that change in the environment? You do that through task management and effectively understanding what applications exist within your environment. All of this surrounds this concept, not application inventory, but application understanding of how it is used, the process associated with it, the visualization reporting generated from it, the networks used to support it, and the storage and the data sources used to support it. All of these directly impact your mission effectiveness. The final key attribute we will discuss today relates to budget. How do, does understanding our applications, data, visualization, all of the details impact our bottom line, our budget? Well, this is a interesting concept. And remember, when we talk about applications, we're not talking about application inventory. We're talking about the details related to the application, the value, the process, the visualization, network, uh, underlying uh, data that supports the application, those details, application details that can help us drive the discussion related that will ultimately affect our budget. So the reduction of data activities is a direct byproduct 
of understanding applications within the environment. I have been doing this for over 40 years and never have I gone into an environment where there are not duplicate process, duplicate applications, and duplicate data activities that consume staff that are totally unnecessary. Uh, th this is not a criticism. It just happens within organizations. The inability to truly see across the organization and discover where these potential issues are or duplicate efforts is challenging. And the only way to do that is to have a great understanding of the application details within your environment and how those details and how those applications align specifically to the mission needs right and requirements we can definitely use that insight that we have related to application details and data to more effectively run our missions but ultimately when it comes to budget it's all about the focus of the investment application awareness and data awareness allow us to truly scope what investments are needed and the prioritization of those investments to meet mission need. So I'll give you a great example. You are running in an environment that requires a um, remote office or a deployed workforce. That workforce needs access to certain resources. So, of course, network considerations are put into effect. Uh, how the data will get to that area, what data is needed, what applications are needed in that remote uh, location. All of that, whether the data and the applications need to run offline or whether they need to constantly be connected to the Internet, all of those things have a direct impact on investment when you understand what the mission is for each of your divisions or directorates or units within your organization then you truly begin to unlock the potential of application and data understanding and managing that within the environment this has been a great opportunity to discuss these primary effects of how to manage applications, data, visualization, and all of the details that make up mission effectiveness and our ability to manage and, in most cases, reduce labor and cost.